as an aside, yesterday, last night, I went to the NRL Grand Final and it was at uh, the Accor Stadium just next door, just next door to where we had the UPW just a few weeks ago, which brought back some wonderful, beautiful memories. And we witnessed a most magnificent match, a fantastic competition between two sides, the best two sides all year in the NRL competition here in Australia between the Penrith Panthers and the Brisbane Broncos. And it was a game, a match, a competition that was exciting from the kickoff where teams altered the lead. Penrith got to an early lead, 8-0. Uh, then the uh, Broncos scored just before half time to bring it to 8-6. And then in the beginning of the second half, the Brisbane Broncos were on fire with one of their players, their 5-8, scoring a treble. Three tries in a grand final. And the score was 24-8. And it looked to me, and it looked to many people, to many commentators, that Penrith were not going to, uh, to win. We're not going to be able to match the Mighty Eels performance in 81, 82 and 83 to get a treble to win three premierships in succession. But lo and behold, in just 15 minutes of brilliance, the captain of the side, Nathan Cleary, took charge where everybody else had given up. And as I say, I had given up hope. All the people that I was sitting with had given up hope. And yet Nathan Cleary did not in any way and the Penrith Panthers didn't give up hope and they won 26 to 24 and claimed the uh, the premiership and were crowned victors in one of the greatest grand finals that we've ever witnessed in the modern era a truly spectacular game, a truly spectacular outcome, and a tribute to hope, a tribute to never ever giving up. And my daughter, Catherine, who attended Anthony Robbins with me, said to her six-year-old daughter, Annabelle, if there's one thing I want you to learn from this magnificent grand final that we attended today is to never ever give up hope because everything is possible if you want it to be possible if you want it to be and Nathan Cleary showed through his example that you can achieve anything as long as you stay, fo stay focused because where your focus goes your energy flows and Nathan Cleary um, proved from a Sydney perspective from an Australian perspective that the sort of material that Anthony Robbins talks about the examples that he gives are very very real Anthony Robbins gives an example of Tom Brady who is one of his uh, one of his students of uh, excellence, and he says that Tom Brady comes into his own at the end of a match when everybody else is tired, mentally fatigued, knowing that the body doesn't give up first; it's the mind and the spirit that give up first. And he says that Tom Brady 
when they do studies on his biochemistry, his tes testosterone surges at a time near the end of the game when everybody else's testosterone is completely depleted. And Tom Brady is able to come up with miracle plays. He's able to think clearly. He's able to act boldly and decis decisively to make a difference. And to me, Nathan Cleary yesterday proved that one person can make a significant difference to an outcome. Um, and I'm not saying that Nathan Cleary is a one-man show. The whole team performed. The whole team contributed. The whole team were part of this magnificent victory. But if it wasn't for Michael Cleary's um, setting up of a try, kicking goals from the sideline, and scoring the winning try and kicking the winning goal at the end, even though even I could have kicked that goal in the end, uh, the outcome, the historical result, would not have been as it had become. So once again, a tribute to excellence, a tribute to courage, a tribute to never ever giving up, and uh, an opportunity for people of Australia to witness a historical moment a moment where the Penrith Panthers equaled the mighty Parramatta Eels in being able to secure not one, not two, but three grand final victories in a row. The cheering in the stadium, the excitement was just unbelievable to say the least. So, uh, well done. Well done to the Penrith Panthers. And let's see what else we can learn because in our lives, Anthony Robbins teaches us time and time again that you can learn through your own trial and error. 